This week on Jeju A to Z, Todd Thacker takes a brief look at one of Jeju's global geopark network sites. Sambangsan Lava Dome is in the southwest of the island. Along the southwest shore of Jeju Island is the 395-meter Sanbangsan Lava Dome, a prominent geological feature which is not only beautiful and geologically rich, but also is full of history and lore. In one myth, it is said that Sanbangsan was once the top of Hala Mountain and that it blew off in an eruption and in one piece landed in its current location. In fact, Sanbangsan is one of the oldest volcanic formations on the island, dating back some 800,000 years. It is called a lava dome because when it formed, the lava which flowed out of the volcanic vent was viscous, quite thick, and thus it did not move quickly from the eruption site. This is how Sambangsan gets its unusual shape, much more of a dome-like shape than the other 368 orum, or volcanic cones, which can be found all around the island. Another interesting feature is a natural cave, or grotto, on its southwest face. This is how Sambangsan got its name, literally, cave inside the mountain. Ten meters deep, a Buddhist shrine was built there roughly 1,000 years ago. It is one of the only cave temples in the country, and from its vantage point on Sambangsan, has been named one of the ten scenic wonders of Jeju. From there, you can see Yongmari Cliff, Hyeongjaesum Islets, and Gapado and Marado Islands. Sambangsan is part of the Global Geoparks Network. As a protected site, it is no longer open to hikers, but this doesn't prevent people from appreciating its majesty for miles around. Todd Thacker, KCTV.